Hyperventilation has negative effects on both coronary perfusion pressure and ventricular refilling. In addition, much less oxygen is required by a body in cardiac arrest than by one that is perfusing. Patients should be ventilated no more than six to 10 times per minute. In a perfect world, there are two people available to ventilate. One approaches the patient from above the head, stretches the mask, places it over the mouth and nose and holds it firmly in place. The second rescuer approaches from the side of the patient and ventilates by squeezing the bag once every six to 10 seconds. In reality, there is rarely more than one rescuer available for ventilation. In this situation, the rescuer stretches the mask over the face and holds it there using a figure C of the thumb and index finger while forming the letter E with the third, fourth, and fifth finger. Those fingers remain under the chin to maintain the head in an extended position. The second hand is used to squeeze the bag.